Hey Mad Reporters, I'm Amir and in this video I'll talk about coping with sunlight when scanning with the Matterport Pro 2 camera. It's important to understand how the Pro 2 camera works so you know how to deal with issues when they arise. While traditional cameras only capture visible light, the Pro 2 captures both visible and invisible infrared light. Infrared light is the same light used in your TV's remote control. First, the camera projects a pattern of infrared dots and looks at those dots to gather depth data about the surfaces in the space. The Matterport app then uses this depth data to align the new scan with previous scans. Alignment errors can happen when the camera can't distinguish its own infrared light from ambient infrared light in the environment. From the camera's point of view, the environment appears to be washed out or empty. While you can't avoid sunlight, you can close curtains, lower blinds, or return when there's less direct sunlight. Surfaces covered with direct sunlight or even too much ambient sunlight are invisible to the camera. Therefore, depth data can't be collected and the 3D geometry that represents the surface won't be built correctly. Without a good 3D model, visitors can end up having a bad navigation experience, such as walking through walls or floors. Because of these issues with infrared light, we do not recommend you 3D scan outside with the Pro 2. If you need to scan outdoors, switch to the 360 capture mode. A 360 panel capture is like a 3D scan, but is not aligned to other scans. Therefore, it won't add geometry to the model data. If you want to 3D scan a path to a detached building, such as a shed or guest house, wait until the sun is below the horizon before scanning outdoors. Even if it's cloudy or the camera is in the shade, there may still be too much ambient infrared light to properly align a scan. Be mindful of that in these situations and always confirm the captured position was properly aligned before moving on.